Right, hi, so this is the second video for the last uh, lesson in the trigonometric functions part. I've stopped at 9.36, but really I should have just told you to do the question for you. So if you can use a completed pack or not, but you would change that secant squared into tan squared plus 1. So I'd have, well, I've got tan squared plus 1. is 5 lots of tan theta minus 5. And then if I rearrange it as a quadratic, I've got tan squared theta minus 5 tan theta. Uh, add on 6 is 0. If I put it in poly, it gives me tan theta is 2, or tan theta is 3. If I do the inverse logarithm now, oh look this degrees, look, see, sneaky. So I'm in degrees now. So if I switch it, switch your calc into degrees, that gives me theta as 63.4, that gives me theta as 71.6 to 3 sig fig. And then if you just graph it and see where the next one is, uh, you should be 180 on with it. same with this one. So remember for tan, your next solution is 180 or pi on from it, just from the shape of the graph. And that's that question for you done. So hopefully you did that and you can follow that. All right, well, you need to keep your time on, don't I, because I can see. All right, so look at the next page then. So I've got an example two. Oof, right, let's have a look. So this time I've got two of them with cot squared or cosec squared. But this here is telling me that I want it all in cot. So that's how I want it. So if I just knit back a page, let's have a look. So I've got 1 plus cot squared is cosecant squared. So I want it as cot squared. So I'm going to change cosecant squared to cot squared minus 1. Is that right? Yep, cot squared. Oh, no, sorry. Cosecant is 1 plus cot squared. Yeah, so that's going to be a 1 plus cot squared. So we've got two cot, so look, I've done it again. I've got to try my best to do it with a small letter. Keeps Cahal happy. 2 cot squared theta plus 3 lots of 1 plus. See, look, 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 done it again. Cot squared theta is 4 cot theta plus 3. Now. So if I expand all the brackets, I've got 2 cot squared and 3 cot squared. So I've got 5 cot squared theta. I'm going to bring the 4 cot theta over. So I've got minus 4 cot theta. I've got a 3, take away 3, so that gives me 0 as that value. If I stick it in poly, what I'll get is cot theta is 4 fifths. Or cot theta is zero. Right, so I've got to think about this one. So I, my flippy bit works fine because cot is one over tan. So if I flip it, then I know that tan theta will be five over four. Now the cot theta is zero, we don't like the look of. I'm left to think of it as zero divided by one. Then I'm kind of okay then because that means then that tan theta is 1 divided by 0. Now 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So this bit here is undefined. Now what that's telling me, and it's a bit sneaky, is what it's telling me is that's on the asymptotes. Asymptotes. It's on the asymptotes. So I'm going to be careful about how I deal with that one. So the tan feature is 5 over 4. That's okay. So the tan feature is 5 over 4 it will give me, if I do inverse tan, it will give me 51.3. There. Now look at my range. My range of values is minus 180 to 180. So if I graph it, if I just graph, 
tan theta and 5 over 4. Now let's do that. Let's show me in degrees. Got to be careful when the time is over. So, hang on. Menu, 5. So I want tan x and I want 5 over 4. X is not going to work out. There. So 5 over 4. I'll graph it, but everything's not going to be quite right because I want to change my axes. So shift, menu. I know I changed the degrees as well. Oops, there it is. So F1 for DAG. F3. So I've got, I'm doing tan, so I'm looking from minus 180 to 180. Have it going up in 45s. So tan goes from minus infinity to infinity. But if you do about minus 10 to plus 10, it gives us roughly the right shape there. Right, so if you look from that picture, if I look at the point of intersection, I've got minus 128.7 as another value. Just checking the answer on here, is it minus 128? Yeah. There. So I've got theta, so my answer for that one is minus 128.7 or 51.3. So these are to one decimal place now, I'm shooting here. Now the other value is the asymptotes. So because it's the asymptotes, if you look at your picture, there's it gone. If you look at your calculator, your asymptotes are at minus 90 degrees and plus 90 degrees. So remember, that's where we draw the dotted lines where the graph ceases to exist. So I would have minus 90 degrees and 90 degrees. And it might be that in class you just want me to talk through that one again, because that's a little bit, you know, it's not the easiest to do. Right, so that's like that example done. Uh, what have we got for this one then? Right, so example three, so in seven minutes 25, so what I might do is just, how much is left of this last one? So I'm tempted to stop that one there and do this one and do it as a separate one so I'm not halfway through it. So I think I'll do that. I'll just stop this recording now and I'll do it again. But well, I won't do it again. Do example three next time.